Welcome to this summary chapter in Media Economics and Financial Planning offered by Professor Nadine Wersteisen, Associate Professor at Rhodes University School of Business offered through Postgraduate Diploma in Media Management at the Sol Blaki Media Leadership Institute. The Media Economics and Financial Planning class of 2020 explored the Blue Ocean Strategy by W. Chan Kim and Renee Malborn, published through Harvard Business School Press in 2005. Blue Ocean Strategy, how to create uncontested market space and make the competition irrelevant, an international bestseller. Welcome to this summary chapter in Media Economics and Financial Planning. Thank you for being a part of this learning exercise. According to Chapter 12, Indicators of Financial and Economic Health of Media Firms, in order to evaluate the operations of their firms and to compare performance over time or among firms, managers employ a variety of economic, financial and corporate activity indicators to measure the health of their media firms. Chapter 12, Indicators of Financial and Economic Health of Media Firms speaks to 1. The state of media firms' markets 2. The media firms' markets' consumers estimating toward the desire for the product 3 the media firm's market consumers' desire for services produced by those companies. That is one, the state of media of the market wherein the media firms are operating. Two, the desire for the product media firms are offering. And three, the desire for services produced by media firms. Changes in these indicators of the health of companies and their industries, according to the literature, can be observed to determine elements of their future and the potential need to alter company strategies to respond to those changes. Here, we think in terms of sailing the blue ocean. As newspapers are closing, across the entire globe and the print media is suffering drastic unprecedented losses we're also seeing space for novelty editions and novelty newspapers to not only distribute online but also emerge as hard copy physical um, newspapers delivered to patrons people who still love having a newspaper in their lives. Cecilia Hume, uh, editor at Tiger Burger, once said that the load can shed and a person would still have a newspaper to read, which was a very relevant and poignant statement to make. And
Welcome to this summary chapter in Media Economics and Financial Planning. Case Study Example LNB News LNB News was founded in 2012 by two second-year learners at a popular South African tertiary institution. Only one of the partners is actively invested in raising the recently relaunched publication as a leading broadcasting publishing media firm of healthy financial and economic standing. In 2020, eight years following the launch of LNB as an experimentary news broadcast asset product, one of the co-founders decided that the only way to reach their partner would be to begin selling copies of the publication, news from which had been sporadic, satiric and free in the years leading to the decision to launch an international price in rebranding the media firm as a novelty newspaper the first of its kind and a broadcasting publisher during the widespread of death of print media in the season of COVID-19. Within two weeks of operating as a novelty newspaper, LNB Publishing sold 10 copies, less than 20 of edition one. In noticing the trend of low desire for the hard copy newspaper, albeit novel, original, and quite extraordinarily great. The co-founder spearheading the rebrand relaunched an e and elected to digitize and converge with the online platform and sell subscription to hard copy editions of the print format newspaper albeit novelty in nature, towards balancing free content with the content consumers pay to engage with. The altered strategy is the result of slide three. Topics covered in chapter 12. Market share change or maintenance. Who is the client, the consumers? This is taking stock of whom is who or who is whom. Changes in demand. Who are the people? What do they want? Indicators of financial health. Accurate accounting of fiscal resources from the very first penny. Most companies and traditional legacy media en masse are closing due to their inflexible appropriation, mismanagement and hoarding of African resources, whether these be minerals or time as a valuable resource. Claude 2019. The reading also explores sales revenue growth a growth measure indicator rooted in chronological scorekeeping of firm-related fiscal events. Chapter 12 it affords the reader with basic information you need to understand media, industries and firms. Big data, such as changes in the results, breakthroughs, positive outcomes inclusive of apparent failure as a positive outcome in a digitized Anthropocene, debt growth or decline, accounting accurately the costs to the entire operation, change in asset value, assets represent valuables belonging to a company, whether these be super conglomerates emerging or established. The issue, quote, the issue of assets in modern media and communications firms is particularly complicated because much of the value is in brands, copyrights, 
and the personnel that firms employ. Methods have been created to assign a financial value to intangibles. The reading also covers reinvestment. The reading offers means of measuring indicators of company internal health, outlining metrics for productivity of staff and company, formulas for capacity utilization, employee turnover, personnel skills and training, innovation, R&D, news product services like LNB Publishing which is an emerging post-COVID-19 resource. Resource dependence. Chapter 12 explores tiers to the establishment benchmark to measuring financial health in media firms. Chapter 12 explores tiers established as a benchmark in measuring financial health in media firms. Thank you. Ladies, gentlemen, genders, fam folks, Romans, associates, collaborators, thank you all for your time. Thank you all for your assured presence moving forward towards the Africa we want as a diaspora. Life is not a race. Start the day at your own pace with Kellogg's Cornflakes. Good day. Uh, 
We are on the 17th of July, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to LNB Presents. Um, this presentation is unsponsored and unaffiliated to any institution other than LNBP. And uh, as we know, I am a postgraduate diploma in media management student at uh, the Salt Lake Media Institute in South Africa. Uh, I have mastered managing convergence and digital media. I have definitely mastered managing convergence. I am presently swimming in a pool of books. The greatest step oh, to which is media management, where Human Resource Management by Trevor Owen, uh, Amos Noel Peirce, Liesl Risto, Adrian Risto, all great names associated with the Rhodes University Business Management School. Uh, the person whom I'm doing this for, the only audience member who matters, Professor Nadine Westhuizen, because she's grading me for my progress and has seen the beginnings and is watching chronologically. Greetings, uh, Professor. I'm pleased to be hosting you on Facebook. Uh, for free, any day of the week. Professors are welcome here for free. <laughs> uh, we have Module 5, Media, Economics and Financial Planning, which is rooted within the Blue Ocean Strategy and is offered by Professor Nadine Westeisen through the Soul Blackie Media Institute at Rhodes University. Um, names are very important. We are in Makanda presently. Uh, Makanda is what the city formerly known as Grahamstown is now renamed to as a truly historical occasion in marking the true winner of the skirmish battles between former or deceased uh, Colonel Graham, Lieutenant Colonel Graham and Ntika Kamakanda the warrior who was sent to Robben Island only for him to return with even more soldiers from the first frontiers to fight a general here. And it was an epic battle. Uh, right or wrong, doesn't matter. It was epic. Uh, today's a Friday and this is due at 5 p.m. Thankfully, I am letting my professor know up front that it is longer than the first, adding more context than the original because it allows the millions watching on Facebook and the billions who wish they could on Twitter have access to what is on Facebook. Yet they do because there is a person who has my hashtag on Twitter and that person is my mom. Who's my mom? Right? Y'all don't deserve to know that. Leave people's personal lives out of clearly professional business opportunities. My mom sends me actual capital so that I can do my hair, which I love. I'm proud of it. It's a 10 year project. Hashtag Kofi! <laughs> Kofi, right? Just like Kofi, I've got the locks. He just shaves. I don't shave my face for anybody. You want to see, like, I'm ready for a, a lucha match, which gets, and that's what the stipulation against the game is. Can the big, the game in Triple H actually win against me? No, I would beat the game hands down because the game and I will have broken bread together. The game is teetotal, does not drink. You cannot bribe the game. If you challenge the game, the game's going to take you out for a meal and say, son, do you want to get hurt? <laughs> do you want your limbs to be broken? Do you want to be taken to the maximum? Do you want to experience a pedigree? I told you not to do this at home. Do we agree? Sign on the dotted line, gentlemen. You saying that you're, you are the key to Africa, which we've been looking for? 
You saying you can take a pedigree? I can give a pedigree. I can stun. Yo, I will F5. I will STF you the game into submission, Bill. I know how to STF you in a unique, branded way. People are going to see me STF you and say, you can't see John Cena doing this like me. Because John Cena's acting on my TV. He's about to be driving a fast car with one of the greatest actors in history. Vin Diesel isn't even his real name. <laughs> Anonymity. <laughs> He's not in the media. <laughs> He's on the screen where he belongs. Even before paparazzi died. <laughs> It was hard to keep tabs on Vin Diesel. Why? Because Vin Diesel is with the people, yo! He's giving back! He's working! He's saying, yo, you got cars! Yo, you actually write nice. Who's my target audience? WWE. Why? Because Vin Diesel is at home watching WWE all the time. <laughs> Trolling their websites with a fake name. <laughs> At least I'm not using a fake name. My name is Kotega Sipo and I am employed by LNBP to be Kotega Sipo. And it's attached to management. And management has decreed that I must go by Kotega Sipo. And we have to respect the protocols of management as we consistently are learning them to be. You know, ladies and gentlemen, so um, just as an introduction, I do advertise um, Kim and Malborn's Blue Ocean Strategy Series in the slides, and I do advertise the WWE in the slides, and I do advertise Luno in the slides. This is strategic branding. Uh, we're yet to actually cover the module in marketing and advertising though i have it open already in front of me and i'm also a stock which we're also yet to cover so i'm pretty ahead which allows me to profit in between school um, people who schedule right tend to be very successful because they know how to schedule priorities of course there are people waiting to hear back from me I'm writing, but I can't write for them under specific conditions. I would rather represent myself because in representing myself, I am profitably allowing for there to be structures in place for them to be able to afford me to do the things I am doing for them already. You know, I will always be repping the people I'm repping within my audience section. Wear them golden diamond rings, all them things don't mean a thing. Chaperones and limousines, shopping for expensive things. I be on the movie screens, magazines and bougie scenes. I'm not clean, I'm not pristine. I'm no queen, I'm no machine. I still go to KFC, drive through rows, you see. <laughs> I don't care, I'm still real. No matter how many records I sell. After the show, after the Grammys, I still go hang out with the family. Sipping, reminiscing on days when I had a Mustang. I'm walking, fam folks. I have a guitar and shoes and a great outlook on life because a 10 minute introduction rooted in this book is worth a lot of money. Do I need money? No. Who does? My mom. <laughs> My mom is yet to sail the blue ocean. So until she does, I have to do it on her behalf. So who am I doing this for? My grandmother who wants to see me in the WWE. Why does she... Of course my grandmother does not want to see me in the WWE. <laughs> she does want to see me writing for the WWE, but not wrestling. <laughs> my grandmother has no idea that I am negotiating, getting in the ring, high stakes, saying with some training, I can beat the game. What is my training? Beating the Miz and getting my shot at 
everybody in the WWE universe deserves a shot to punch Seth Rollins in the face. Seth messed up. Never damage WWE property. Hashtag Rey Mysterio is an expensive brand, you see. You can't damage legends because you're going to get RKO'd before you even touch me. <laughs> RKO is a very great wrestler. The only person RKO is yet to beat is the Beast because the Beast was angry when fighting Randy Orton because Randy Orton was doing what I'm doing, talking a big game. To beat, to be the best, you have to beat the best. And I'm saying, woo! Who's the best in Africa? Woo! Who's the best philologist in Africa? Woo! Who is going to be a wrestling entertainment champion in Africa? From the WWE first. Only through the game. Who is challenged? It's gonna hurt. <laughs> These are the things we know. Do you know who had to back it up the most in the ring? My best friend. My best friend is Shane O'Mac. Ladies and gentlemen, he's reading me the most for free. Shane O'Mac! Hashtag money, 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 money! It's necessary here in Africa because my stove broke and I don't have very great structures towards. I'm on a bursary and I have to pass in order to not owe the institution I'm in 55,000 Rand, which does not sound like it's much, though I already owe APSA. Hashtag APSA rocks. APSA is in every single one of my online adverted uh, branding concepts or on several. I'm still adding APSA because APSA has to acknowledge that I've technically paid them off when I have a McMahon, when I have a McMahon saying, this man's working hard. Social distancing. We don't need to be online. He's a respectable person who WWE walks with Elias. And it's a moment of bliss, ladies and gentlemen. You know who also wants to see me on the Kevin Owens show, shaking Kevin Owens' hand, saying, King, you are actually, hands down, the greatest role model in the males division, modeled after the game itself. Taking care of your kids, not damaging property. We forgive, uh, we forgive Miss Hart. She was having a bad day. She had to learn to respect Shayna Baisley. I respect Shayna Baisley. Sure. Whoa. Whoa. Don't hurt me, please. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told Smack about Shayna. Shayna Baisley has an external uh, persona which puts off, though it's profitable. There's a lot of money in being bad though the wwe has to call her uh, either a tag team partner or a equal for them to start a new world wrestling entertainment rooted within the wrestling entertainment world which just looks to make friends in America, there's also a brand called AEW, but it's rooted in so much. We're going to show McMahon that McMahon can do this alone. McMahon isn't trying to do this alone. McMahon is being inclusive. Part of his product is in the patron of the dynasty being what is a good boss. People call good bosses assholes. People call good bosses mean things all the time, and it hurts. The, the boss has created a structure where he can 
harness all that hurt and churn out money so that no matter what he can hurt from a really nice place and that's why the only person who can tell me a thing on facebook is vincent kennedy mcmahon when i gladly kiss his ass to be able to represent his brand through mine i would challenge vince mcmahon to a fight but he's old come on i know he's buff and could beat me up himself but he would respect me more if i went at his son-in-law who is literally the best wrestler slash wrestling coach because he, Shane O'Mac also knows straight up who has taught Shane O'Mac how to go from post to post. <laughs> Shane O'Mac knows how to read my post without even paying. <laughs> so Shane O'Mac owes me money. That's just the rules. Uh, and when I'm playing the former president Jacob Zuma in a game of chess, Who's going to be the official referee? Ronda Rousey because she's on online doing what I'm doing already. <laughs> Except there's a screen where that's her face and it's small and the rest is... The rest is games and great stuff or different kinds of videos which are all Ronda Rousey doing it by herself. And she's still signed to the WWE. They just not... Fa then they don't have a model called me they don't own the copyright to doing what and ronda rousey doesn't have to do it with out with me ronda rousey can do what she's doing already <laughs> live your life you've set precedence for me to sell the copyright to what you are doing you're a source at this point thank you ronda rousey hashtag ronda rousey gets a free copy of lnb news edition one and edition two coming soon after extreme rules, ladies and gentlemen, on Sunday, the next voice note, we're talking about extreme rules. Actually, we still have some time on this one, which is one at a time. You know, there's going to be an introduction to everything. And I just have to ensure that you guys enjoy what you're seeing. Mm. I need more coffee. In fact, I need food. In fact, I could use some electricity. <sighs> some things just cannot be acted out. Geniuses need love too. Imagine if... I do have a great camera. Though, space. There's a camera in there. The camera could be the one used for this. Though, laptop is office on the go. We are on the go. Africa's on the rise can be a part of making the Africa we want to see and the Africa Africans deserve is rooted in back it up and if you cannot back it up then you're lost and that's what convergence media is all about the world has converged online the only way to back up profiting online is through my copyright because it is what it is I'm a McMahon Come ask me how I am a McMahon and I will tell you how my father never raised me. My dad told me when I was a child that there is no chance in hell. And it sounded a lot like what my mom was saying, which was, it doesn't happen twice. Ah, uh, my shoulder is up, Mr. Referee. <laughs> yeah. The game cannot pin me. <laughs> the game could make me submit if the game tried. Though I'm gonna make the game submit first. STFU stands for Who Wants to Walk with the WWE?
sponsored by this book in its very existence. I don't need a fiscal sponsor so long as I have this and it's in book format. Because LNBP, ladies and gentlemen, is a winning business strategy written by these people. And there's a book of theirs which I would love to receive. So if you have a copy of Blue Ocean Shift, you're meant to be inside of the comments section. You know where it is. Please and thank you. I would appreciate that book. It would be, nah, it would be a really great thing. Uh, we are advertising ourselves. Who wants to walk with Elias? I do. I want to see a whole new life that's never been known to me. You've shown to me a brand new world like it's never been known by me. Between you and me, WWE, walk with the liars, yeah, that is my destiny. journey with you anywhere through vast mountain seas and the WWE ring and all it took for me to be is a genius on Facebook and that's my true history I'm a philology master historian yet clearly you see me compiling songs on digital terrestrial TV saying it clearly motherfucker you can't see me I'm in the Money, 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 money Checking me out, you see It's my destiny Telling the true history Through poetry Writing them true stories Because I can do it For thee Thank you ladies and gentlemen For tuning in to that tribute To Elias Because everybody knows what WWE stands for, and that is Walk With. LNBP, Walking With Elias, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your time.